Hey everyone, Joel from Eduphoria here to provide quick tips for electronic signatures. When you first go into Strive and you access your evaluation process, as you go through the different forms that are created during the evaluation year, you're going to have the ability to apply an electronic signature to those documents. When you open a container to view the document, you can see the status of the forms and whether you need to give an electronic signature or the document has already received an electronic signature. When you have a document that shows that it has already been electronically signed, when you click on the document, you'll have a button for view electronic signatures. You can see the check marks next to your appraiser and your icon to indicate that both have signed off on that document. If it shows that electronic signature is required, you may have already signed it, but it is waiting for the second party, your appraiser, to sign it. Still showing electronic signatures required, and then you have the button to electronically sign, and when you click it, you'll either see that it is waiting your signature and your appraiser, or you have signed it and it is waiting for the appraiser's signature. When you click to sign a document, this screen will pop up in another tab in your browser, and you'll enter in your Eduphoria username and your Eduphoria password, and then it's going to ask your security question that you selected in your profile and the password that you provided. You'll enter in that information and then click electronically sign document. Some districts have created the option for uh, personnel to indicate a refusal to sign the document. Only check that box if you're indicating a refusal to sign the document. If you cannot remember your password or it's not accepting the password you're entering, you have the ability to go in and change that password. Only you can do this. So what you would do is go back to your Strive view and in the top right corner is the account button. You click that, edit profile, you'll select that and it's gonna go to your profile setting. You'll click the next button at the bottom until you get to the security question and response. And in here you can keep the same question or you can select a different question. It's really depending on the answer that you put in. Once you've changed that password, you'll click next until the screen that says save changes. Once you've saved changes, you can return to the document to enter in again your Eduphoria username, your Eduphoria password, and then to enter in that new password that you put in for your electronic signature. Then again, you'll click the electronically signed document and it will show that you have electronically signed. It's way for your appraiser to do their part to put in their signature. And then on the form itself, inside of the evaluation process, it's going to show that the electronic signature is required. Again, it's not saying that you need to sign it, it's still waiting for the other party, your appraiser, to complete that signature. Once your appraiser has signed the document and you have signed the document, it will now show electronically signed.